Hey there, so many professional photographers have the ability to take professional quality photos of their family and their children, but yet making a family yearbook is so overwhelming. And so in this video, I'm gonna break it down step by step so that making a family yearbook, if that's something you want to do, can actually be a reality for you. Hey there, I'm Caitlin. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is a place where we empower photographers to build profitable and purposeful businesses while also giving you guys a little behind the scenes of our everyday life. And I would say that this video is kind of a behind the scenes of our everyday life because I'm gonna teach you about how I actually create family yearbooks. Family yearbooks for me are probably single-handedly the most important legacy piece that I will hand down to my children. And the reason I say that is because beyond making memories with them and what I teach them and the example I set, this is so important to me. I love these albums because it takes my passion for photography and it's creating something that's documenting the story of our life. And now I had so many photos of my childhood with my sister and my brother, you know, in boxes, uh, bins of Tupperware, like in our basement. And I've seen most of them. This is a chronological depiction of a visual story of our life with our children, and I am so excited about it. I started this process when Michael and I had our first baby. So back in 2017, we had Evie, um, and I decided this was what I was gonna commit to. Like, this was my big thing. And I do wanna say before I dive into the step-by-step -step process that even though there are many steps and it does take work and it takes dedication. I have maintained the last three years um, making a family yearbook. I've done it every every year, even in the midst of some pretty intense years for us. So I have been pregnant every year the past four years. Um, and we lost our second child at 31 weeks. So that was a hard year. And you might think, well, man, when life kind of throws you a curveball, you know, these are the things that get pushed to the back burner. But this is so important to me that even in the midst of chaos, I still sat down in the evenings and I made this a reality because it literally means so much to me. So if you share the importance and you share the passion behind making a family yearbook, then hopefully this video will encourage and empower you to be able to do the same exact thing. So step one in the process of creating a family yearbook is deciding what your family yearbook is going to consist of. So for me, I made a decision um, and I've stuck with this decision uh, and I've really thought it out. Like, how do I want to structure what I do with our family memories when it comes to still photos? Videos, completely different animal. I, I haven't completely mastered it yet, but I, I have an idea. With still photos, I have a system. My system is that I know that I enjoy taking my DSLR out and using it to capture our everyday life. Not all the time. Honestly, once or twice a week, I probably snap some photos of our kids whenever they're doing something cute or fun. Last night, literally, Michael turned on the sprinkler. Evie had never experienced this sprinkler. It kind of goes like this, and she thought it was crazy. Graham got stuck in it, was bawling his eyes out. It was just a really fun family experience, and I brought my camera out for like two seconds and took a total of probably 10 images. That happens once or twice, maybe three times a week. So it's nothing crazy, but I wanna encourage you with this. This is the first step to deciding if this is going to be something you wanna do. You have to have a system for using your DSLR, using your, your big camera in your everyday life that doesn't stress you out. I don't take it to everything. And there's a whole video, a whole episode on YouTube that we've already filmed about how to use your DSLR more. And I highly recommend um, watching that video because it gives you practical, tangible steps to use it more without it being um, a pain or a stressful part of your life. If you're stressed about it, don't do it. Some people want this to be a mix of DSLR photos and iPhone photos, and I think that's great. If that was the case, you would need to make sure that one part of your monthly process is to favorite your images on your iPhone as you take them and then transfer them into the hard drive where you're storing and sorting your DSLR photos by month. And that means that when it comes time to actually design this book, everything is still in chron chronological order month by month, and you can just easily insert your iPhone photos into this. All right, so two, you have to start a process of uploading your family card, which I mentioned that in another video, it's linked below. I have one family CF card, I upload that once a month. I sort and call and edit the best of the best. And that best of the best from that month then gets saved to the end of the year around the New Year's time period when December is coming to an end and to a close. That is when I start working on the past year's family yearbook. Honestly, it feels so good to have a system and know like, hey, every month, I. I edited the best of the best. Now think about this. Some of these pages in these books 
are one to four images, all right? I love it. I love, if you're taking DSLR photos, why not print them big, all right? So when I am editing, I have to remind myself, I don't need to edit everything. I need to edit the best of the best, the most impactful images. I need to edit those. I don't need to have 35 images from every single time that I pulled out my camera. And that is something that I am better about with my family albums than I am when I'm actually calling a real wedding. But that's because I just, I know what the process is gonna be. And I know that my pages in my family yearbooks aren't gonna have 16 or 17 images on each spread. It's going to have a few of the highlights. So that gives me free freedom to not edit a whole bunch of images and get really behind and overwhelmed. So when I take the best of the best from our entire year, I take it into a program called Smart Albums. Now Smart Albums is something that I purchased because I'm a wedding photographer and whenever I want to make a sample album or I'm making a quick album for a venue, it is so fast. I mean, this program is unbelievable. The amount of options and like one click of a button, you can see totally different layouts. I've never seen anything quite like it and I'm, I'm a huge fan. It is a little bit pricey and you don't have to design in smart albums, but that's the program that I choose because it is so fast for me. Now, so I create a 20 by 20 album in smart albums. That's how I design it. And then I export that PDF and I order the book through a company called Blurb. Blurb is the company I choose because I have been using Blurb since, gosh, I don't even know when. Before I made family yearbooks, I made books for big events in our life. So building the house, we, we made a blurb book, a 20 by 20 blurb book. When we took a quick little three day trip to California before the kids were born um, with my brother-in-law and my sister, I made a, a small little travel book. When we went to Hawaii with our parents, I made a, a travel book. And I still, to this day, even when I go on a trip and some of those best of the best images end up in the family album, I don't wanna put an entire trip, like all of these images from our trip to Scotland, I don't want to put all of those images into a family yearbook because it's going to take up a huge chunk. So I will still make family travel books for really big trips. But this is the type of book that got me started with Blurb. And I love the quality. I love the print color. I love the clarity. And so I decided, you know what, I think I'm just going to maintain the same style of book so I can line everything up on the shelf and they're the same size and it's the same style. So the reason why I don't use a lay flat album for my family yearbooks, which a lay flat album would be like a professional album that we order for our wedding clients is because I'm very limited in the amount of images and the amount of spreads that I could create. Um, if I wanted to take all of the images that I include in this family album into a lay flat, lay flat book, we would probably have to make it like eight different volumes in order to fit it all in, which one, I can't afford that. And two, um, this just seems like a better option for me. Now for you, let's say you have 15 to 20 images per month that you wanna put in a family yearbook, right? So not as many as me, it could be that a lay flat option is better for you. Another reason why I choose to use Blurb for my family albums is because I did a lot of research and uh, when you look at all the different options when it comes to how much I could fit in the book, um, how large I could print, the print quality, the color, um, the price, I really feel like this was the best option. It's like a great middle ground of having a professional quality, a professionally printed book, um, but not having to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now, these books um, are constantly 40% off. I always design my books and then I wait for an email from, from Blurb where they're running a 40% off sale. And so, and then I will order them. Um, and so when you run into a sale like that, you can easily get these books for like a little over $200. And I know that's expensive, but at the same time, it's like, that's my legacy and the story of our life for that year. And I'm very willing to put that much investment into creating a family yearbook because it means so much. So when I am creating a family album and I'm considering, okay, what goes in the book and what doesn't? How do I cull and how do I make the cut for designing? And the design process of creating a beautiful, visually pleasing album, like that's a whole video in and of itself. Like there's so many things to think about. But in general, I would say of all the images, the best of the best that I've edited throughout the year, I'm really only taking about 20% of that and putting it into the family yearbook. And um, something that I notice myself doing constantly is that I normally have a pulled back option and then a zoomed in tight option. And that normally is happening actually when I'm shooting. So if I take my camera out in the living room and you know, Evie and Graham are hanging out and it's really cute um, and they're doing really fun stuff together, then a lot of times if I see something that I love, like, oh my gosh, that was really cute what they just did, um, I will make a note or make a mental note to 
take a few shots of them doing their cute interaction, but then step a little closer. And maybe if they're holding hands, I take a close up shot of their hands because I want something that's pulled back or detail oriented or something that will simplify the spread a little bit more rather than having a bunch, a bunch of busy photos that have the same composition and that were shot at the same distance. So, I mean, this is a very simple example, but this is um, my kid's uncle Joe. He was holding baby Graham. It's really sweet black and white. Um, and so then I have a very simple, like almost detail shot of Eddie's pigtails on the other side. And and I love this clean, almost artistic approach to a family yearbook, not a how many photos can I cram into a book. And so if you have questions about the design process and my thought process, even how my shooting process plays into the overall design of a family yearbook, I'd love to hear those questions. And if there are are an abundance of them, um, I can create, an, create another video where I can explain um, more step-by-step -step details into how I create an artistic family album that's not just a bunch of pictures thrown together, but instead it's kind of an artistic visual representation of our year. So hopefully this helps you understand a little bit more into the process of how to actually make these books. And I just want to say in a little piece of encouragement, there is nothing more rewarding as a photographer or someone who just loves photos to be able to take your images, the best of the best that you worked hard and loved capturing all year and put them in printed form. Now, I don't know what our plan is as far as, you know, when our kids grow up, who's gonna get to inherit the family yearbook, the, the massive stack of family yearbooks. I'm not really sure, but this is what I do know. I am so excited to have a system. Uh, my kids will not be inheriting stacks and stacks of Tupperware boxes full of photos, which nothing wrong with that. But as a professional photographer, I just thought there's got to be a better way to do this. And I think I have found it. And I'm excited for you to potentially, if you're interested in this, to make one for yourself and start to reap the benefits of having a beautiful printed legacy piece for your family to remember for generations to come. So there's a link below for Blurb if you are interested in learning more about that photo book process. Um, Smart Albums, um, the program I use for designing these books and these layouts uh, is linked below as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.